Hello guys, welcome back to the Civil Engineering YouTube channel. Please subscribe our channel for daily civil engineering videos. In today's lecture, we are going to differentiate between the beam and column. So I will try to explain the main difference between these two types of the members with the help of an example, so it will be more easy to understand. Now what is beam? So beam is basically a flexural member. By flexural member, it means that it is a member that is subjected to bend, bending. Subjected to bending. So, if I consider this is in a beam supported here by hinge and roll support, so when the load is acting on this beam, for example, load is here P, so upon this load, the beam will try to bend like in this way. So, this shows the bending and here we have some bending stresses along the cross section of the beam. So the member which is subjected to the bending upon the loading we call such type of the member as the flexion member and the flexion member are always the beam member. So whereas in column if we look into the column so column is a compression member. Compression member means if the load is acting on this member vertically so it is being compressed so upon the loading this will try to compress and it will change the axis of the beam sorry axis of the column so here it is being compressed you see here the small portion of the column has been compressed so this is a compression member where the load is acting vertically on the member and the resistance is always provided vertically to the load so this is a compression member because the member is compressed under this load. While in beam it is always bending. The second main difference is that it is generally horizontal in position. It means if we look to the view here. So if I remove this. So in case of the beam it is always horizontal in position. So horizontal position means if this is x axis. And this is the y-axis of the beam. So it is always laid horizontally on the supports. You see here it is being supported horizontally by hand support and by roller support. While if we look to the column here. So in case of the column. It is always laid, laid vertically. So this is in y-axis is always laid vertically in y-axis so it is not laid horizontally as we see here in the beam so it is generally vertical in position the third difference is that it carries the transverse load by transverse load means if I consider here the axis so if this is the longitudinal axis of the beam these are here is the longitudinal axis and the perpendicular axis to the longitudinal axis are known as the transverse axis transverse axis of the beam so the load is always acting transversely on the beam so that's why it always carries the transverse load because the load is always acting perpendicular to the longitudinal axis which is along the transverse direction so it always carries the transverse load while if we look to the column so it always carries the axial load the axial load means if this is the axis of the column this is the longitudinal axis of the column longitudinal axis of the column so in most cases the column carries the axial load because it acts along the axis of the column so that's why it carries only the axial load but in most cases it carries axial load sometimes it also carries bending load for example the load act here at this part so it creates also some bending moment in this column but in most cases the load acting on the column is axial load which is acting along the axis of the column which is the longitudinal axis of the column while in the case of the beam the load is always acting perpendicular to the axis of the column. We see here this is the longitudinal axis of the column. 
so it is acting perpendicularly at 90 degree to the longitudinal axis so these are the three main differences which clearly differentiate the beam member from the column so hope you guys understand and don't forget to subscribe our channel for daily civil engineering videos thank you for watching our video